Supreme Court has asked the center and states to consider imposing a term to break the chain in the interest of the public welfare. It also directed the central government to read its initiatives and protocols, including the availability of oxygen, availability of pricing of vaccines, and availability of essential drugs at affordable prices. A three-member decision of the Apex Court branch comprising Justice D.Y. Chandrachur, Justice El Rao and Justice Ravindra Bhatt said, we are cognizant of the socio-economic impact of a lockdown, specifically on the marginalized communities. The case, the measure of a lockdown is imposed. Arrangements must be made beforehand to cater to the needs of these communities. Moreover, the top court further asks the center to formulate within two weeks a national policy on admissions to hospitals in the wake of second wave of COVID-19 and said no patient shall be denied hospitalization or essential drugs in any state for lack of local residential proof. The Supreme Court's observation comes as India continues to under the second wave of coronavirus. The country has been recording over 3 lakh cases in few weeks. The last 24 hours it reported over 3.68 fresh COVID-19 cases. The 3,68,147 new infections take active COVID cases in in India to 34,13,642. Meanwhile, 3,417 people died due to coronavirus, taking the total death toll in India from the pandemic to 2,18,959. On 20th of April, the center had revised its vaccination policy and asserted it would procure 50% of the COVID shield and Covaxin supplies at rupees 150 per dose and allowed states and private hospitals to procure 50% of the quota on their own for all above 18 years from 1st of May. After the revision in the policy, Serum Institute of India, the manufacturer of the COVID shield, has said that its cost for state will be rupees 400 per dose and rupees 600 per shot for the private hospitals. Bureau report, Halabol.